I call this penny balance and your students are going to love it. This is a great inertia trick. You will not get it on your first try. It does take practice. They can stack the multiple pennies on top. Couple tips with that, the pennies too tend to kind of tip over when they are stacked like that. But I encourage you to have them try it because more mass does increase the chances of them getting the trick if they are doing a nice straight shot. You want to make sure that finger is nice and flat, that it is the card is not on the tip of your index finger, that it's on that flat part of your index finger. And it is just a straight flick, nothing really forceful. And there you can see, you'll get it with that one penny. I usually use pennies because it's a good size for the finger. And you'll see here, I don't know if I get it on this one or not. Yep, so then there I got it again. Nice straight flick. They just have to trust themselves. You can try quarters. I find maybe the size does topple over a little bit. But again, your students are gonna be doing this over and over again, and you will be surprised how many get it. So here's another way to add more mass to it so that they can see that, is just put the quarter and then a penny on top, and that seemed to work really well and very steady. So here's just a nice quick flick nice flat finger and then it stays. I was able to do that easily two times in a row because it's just enough mass and they're gonna learn a lot about balanced forces with this because if they do an upward flick, everything is gonna fly everywhere. And then here's just a little bit of a different angle and this is a little trick I did, a little bit of cheating. I glued the pennies together because if you have students that are really frustrated but you want them to learn that more mass will make it more successful, this is it's just a way to be able to do that. Just a little dot of glue in between them to help them hold and then it worked right away because you have more mass.